I'm Jim Walden, officially James Ray Walden II. Um, that's an important thing in my family. Jimmy was James Ray Walden III, my son, Lance Corporal in the United States Marine Corps. Jimmy was an honor student from the time he started school till the time he finished. Uh, he graduated fourth in his class from grade school and second in his class from high school. Scored a 32 out of 35 on the ACT. Uh, 97 out of 99 on the ASVAB to enter the service. He went into intelligence in the Marine Corps. They don't take you unless you're brilliant. And because I was a Marine, that made Jimmy a legacy. So when he joined, he got his choice, and he chose to go to San Diego. He would. to go there because I didn't. I'm sorry. One of the proudest moments of my life was watching him walk across that grinder and graduate. 35 years, one month and four days after I walked that same piece of asphalt to watch him do it was incredible. Jimmy was in Intel in the Marine Corps. He was a crypto analyst. That's Marine Corps jargon for a digital spy for the National Security Administration. He worked in their building, in the NSA building. Uh, super high profile, super secret. Um, until Jimmy passed, we weren't allowed to know what he did. After he passed, they awarded him the Navy Achievement Medal posthumously. And in the citation, it said that he was personally responsible for the identification and destruction of 25 high-profile terrorist targets and numerous secondary targets. And he'd only been there a year. I talked with his NSA boss at his memorial and he said he'd been doing this for 28 years and he'd never met a more gifted analyst than my son. He went for a ride to unwind and he was doing 35 mile an hour. And coming the opposite direction was an illegal immigrant. I don't know the politically correct way to say it anymore. Um, an illegal immigrant running 65 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone on that twisty road. He lost control of the car to the right and then he overcorrected and completely lost control to the left and turned right in front of Jimmy. They say it killed him instantly. It, it cut his carotid artery. I don't understand. Uh, he was doing everything right. He had on blue jeans, boots, leather jacket, gloves, helmet. He was doing everything right. I ride without a helmet. And here I sit, you know. The guy that caused the accident, as I said, he was illegal. Um, we found out later he admitted to being here illegally since 2002. 
it came to light after the accident that the state of Maryland had known he was illegal since 2012. That was five years prior to this wreck. Man's name is Martin Martinez Bolinas. He went to Maryland because he knew it was sanctuary. He knew he could get away with it. He admitted he paid $150, a measly $150 for false documents with a phony social security number, a phony birth certificate. Between 2012 and 2017, the man that took him had been in trouble with the law five times. One of which was a felony, uh, domestic abuse. He went to court, was convicted of domestic violence, put on probation and an order of protection. And yet he was allowed to stay. To lose my son was bad enough. But to lose him like that, something that was 100% preventable had Maryland done its job and sent him back to Mexico where he belonged, he wouldn't have been there.